Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at the latest in the Founders Backstage series. Of course, they came out with Blushing Monk, then CBS, and now then Founders, or, excuse me, Curmudgeon's Better Half. Now they released a brown ale. This one is their Frangelic Mountain Brown. It's a 9% alcohol by volume. Brown ale aged, or excuse me, brewed with hazelnut coffee. So it's floating on that kind of imperial brown ale, kind of where dogfish, uh, their pillow Santa Marone is. I am not a fan of brown ales. I've only ever had a few that I've really liked. I just don't gravitate towards them. I think they're kind of boring. They all kind of taste very similar, but if Anyone can kill a brown ale, make it good. Founders is going to be the one to do it. They've nailed every single beer in their backstage series, so I'm looking forward to this one. Apprehensively, let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Founders Frangelic Mountain Brown. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Frangelic Mountain Brown Ale, well, it lives up to the name. It's a dark, muddy, murky brown. Hints of like a mahogany or a blood red on the curves of the glass there. Not seeing a whole light, a lot of light through there. It is a very, very hazy looking beer. There was a nice two to three finger of an off-white, again, kind of a khaki uh, brownish head on there. Nice tight white bubbles. Definitely a good amount of lacing on there. A touch of alcohol legs just lives up to what you would expect a brown to look like. Our right, guys, the Roma on the Frangelic Mountain. Wow, big coffee notes. To me, it smells like somebody had a cup of coffee and they poured the hazelnut creamer in there. There's big, sweet hazelnut uh, aromatics just streaming off this one. Slight caramel, slight sugary, kind of roasted sweetness in there. Wow, it's definitely the best smelling brown, brown I've ever smelled. Big, big coffee aromas on this one. All right, guys, the taste on the Frangelic Mountain. Here we go. Cheers. There's a huge coffee bitterness, almost like an imperial stout, espresso type of bitterness. Middle of the mouth, really, really, really big, sweet notes. That hazelnut is just shining through in this one. It's a big, sweet, sugary, kind of hazelnut creamer type of smell. Definitely getting some caramel, definitely getting a lot of burnt sugar in this one. A nice bready nose, uh, excuse me, bright, nice bready note. A little bit of that roasted quality in there. Nice sweet aftertaste in this one. Again, more coffee, a big, big coffee forward beer. Very, very light mouthfeel. I was expecting more kind of body to this one at 9%, not getting a whole lot of that. Almost to be a little bit watery, watery to be honest with you. 9% though, you don't taste that alcohol at all. It's a really, really easy to drink beer. God, it's, it's almost like a breakfast beer. Really coffee forward, sweet, easy to drink, just kind of kind of dangerous stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Founders Frangelic Mountain Brown, 9% alcohol by volume. This is a very limited part of their backstage series, so get it if you think you want to pick it up. Guys, I'm going to give this one a B plus. While up until this point, I think this is probably the weakest beer in their backstage series based on my opinion, it's still probably one of the best brown ales I've ever had. There's those slight kind of brown ale undertones, you know, the slight breadiness, toffee, caramel, but the coffee and the hazelnut are really, really the stars of this show. Big sweet characteristics from those two, kind of blending with those slight kind of brown ale characters. Really took a brown ale to the next level, which is what I figured founders, what I hoped founders would do, and they did it with flying colors. So getting a B plus from me, if you don't like brown ales like myself, definitely check this one out. It does really elevate it to the next level so with that said folks remember life is too short drink amazing beers cheers